so what we're doing today is uh, measuring the uh, joint loads in some fantastic MMA uh, fighters. We're measuring the way that they fire their muscles. What we found in some of the greatest athletes, and these are athletes from all sorts of power, strength, and speed sports, is not only are they strong, but they contract muscle with great velocity. They also relax with terrific speed, rate of relaxation as well. As you can imagine, to get a very fast punch or a kick, you might start the whole power generation in the hips. And then as the hips, the, the hip muscles explode, the core becomes very stiff to transmit that force through to the upper body. So it's the creation of an initial pulse with this stiffness contraction that I'm talking about. And then they have to relax as the foot in a kick or the hand in a punch increases velocity until the strike occurs and then in order to take out any energy leaks it's a second <coughs> contraction of stiffness. The great ones have this ability to initiate with this uh, very fast muscle contraction then a very rapid muscle relaxation to gain speed and then a second uh, tremendous pulse of uh, muscle. So we're measuring today this pulse production, minimizing energy leaks, uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, it's interesting that the great performers use their hips and shoulders for power production, but their spine and core for stiffness and power transmission. But if you generate power with your spine, generally it will break. The discs will uh, become damaged before you get to that ultimate performance.